All right. Uh, hey guys, Whistling Salesman here. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff with my tax return. A bunch of movies. A uh, bunch of them were from a a moving sale, moving sale from Blockbuster. Basically, they say moving, but they're really just going to uh, Blockbuster online. But uh, I got five DVDs and three Blu-rays from that sale. Over time, of course, I didn't just pick them up on one time. That'd be ridiculous. Even with it being three ninety-nine for each DVD and Blu-ray, Blu-rays are the same price, which is crazy. But uh, first movie I got, I have got other movies too, but this isn't from the blockbuster thing. It's uh, Judgment Night. Basically, it's four friends. Uh, they want to go to a boxing match, and the line of cars for the boxing match is way too long, so they decide to go off a beaten path, try to find a different way. And, of course, they get lost, and they they see some guy get shot, and Dennis Leary, who's the bad guy, decides to hunt them down and kill him for watching... The guy get uh, shot. Bunch of stars: Emilio Estevez, Cuba Gooding Jr., Dennis Leary, Stephen Dorff, and Jeremy Piven. It's rated R. Uh, it's not the greatest movie ever, <coughs> <coughs> but uh, it's worth checking out if you like those guys. Next movie I got was Apt Pupil by the director of uh, X-Men and X-Men uh, the second X-Men stars Ian McKellen and uh, Brad Dorf. basically oh no wait not Brad Dorf. Brad Renfro excuse me basically it's about a kid finds out that his neighbor well, used to be a Nazi and he blackmails him into a uh, wearing a Nazi uniform and telling him about everything and stuff like that then eventually this is Ian McKellen by the way who's the Nazi eventually uh... he becomes wanting to kill people again and he kills a uh... person and stuff like that and that's basically the movie but it's direct uh... not directed it's uh... written by uh... Stephen King which is pretty interesting to me so I thought I'd check it out also, uh, a funny appearance by, uh, David Swimmer is in this too, which I thought was funny, from Friends. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, the next movie I got, which I love, I saw it so many times on HBO when it aired on HBO, but it's called I Could Never Be Your Woman. It's, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, Paul Rudd, John Lovitch, Fred, War Fred Willard, and, uh, Tracy Ullman. It's by the writer, the writer and director of Clueless. Basically, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer is like the producer and director of a uh, TV show, and they need a new star for the TV show. And they come across the Paul Rudd, and then Michelle Pfeiffer and Paul Rudd get together and stuff like that. It's actually really funny. It's a funny concept and stuff like that. Uh, it was supposed to be go to theaters, but something happened to it, and they just put it on uh, DVD. But uh, when did this come out? In 2006. Oh wait, it says 2006, 2008. So I don't know if it came out in 2006, and it came on a DVD in 2008, which is kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, it's PG-13. And, uh, the Weinsteins produced it. So, uh, it's decent. I like it. Check it out if you want to. Next movie I got, all-time classic. This is a classic. It's a late 70s, early 80s movie. 1980s when it came out. It's, uh, Stir Crazy. With, uh, Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor. And it's directed by Sidney Poitier, actually. Which I thought was interesting. Uh, he also directed uh, <laughs> Ghost Dad, which was really terrible, with uh, Bill Cosby, which I thought was really funny. 
but uh, pretty much Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor, the friends, and they go and they need a job, and the only job they can get is at a bank. Uh, you know, like they're out front in a uh, uh, bird costumes, trying to promote the bank, stuff like that. You know, like they do with the uh, people now with dressing up as Statue of Liberty, stuff like that. But uh, two guys rob the bank, and they're dressed up in the same costumes. So right away, they think Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor uh, robbed the bank. And uh, they go to jail. Basically the movie is them in jail, and things that happen to them in jail, stuff like that. And uh, by the end, they try to break out of jail. I can tell you if they ever do or not, but that's their plan. Break, break out of jail but it's uh, stir crazy check it out it's great next movie everybody knows this movie if you don't know this movie at least know this movie even though if you haven't seen it but it's Schwarzenegger and uh, Total Recall I've been wanting this movie for a long time I know people said it really sucks on blu-ray so I didn't check it out on blu-ray but uh, yeah Come on now. If you don't know this movie, basically, uh, Schwarzenegger wants to, uh, there's a company in the future that provides you a way to go on vacation without really going on vacation. You're going on vacation in your head. And, uh, his vacation was to be a, uh, like a James Bond type guy and his vacation would end whenever the story folds out whatever when he wakes up he's in his house like normal and everything and he finds out that uh, Sharon Stone which is his wife really isn't his wife stuff happens he has to go on Mars where there's a new colony stuff like that uh, he finds out that he's a detective stuff like that but by the end, you don't really know if this is his uh, this is his vacation or if it's real. But uh, it's really corny acting, which is great for an 80s movie. A uh, bunch of cool action, stuff like that. Uh, it's worth checking out. I mean, it's a classic, so come on now. Uh, Schwarzenegger, who else is in the Sharon Stone, Michael Ironside, uh, yeah, check it out. Uh, the next three are Blu-rays, uh, the first one is Inception, come on now, if you don't know this movie, I mean, I've been waiting for this forever, finally got it for like $5.99, so I had to pick it up, every other time I saw it, uh, the least it was was like 10.99, but uh, I'm a cheap bastard, so yeah, Inception. Uh, the next movie is Point Break. It's by the lady who directed uh, Hurt Locker, which is pretty crazy because they're way far away different movies. I guess they're both kind of action, but uh, it's Patrick Swayze, Keanu Reeves, Point Break. Uh, this is another classic. Uh, basically, Keanu Reeves goes undercover uh, to find that Patrick Swayze is a surfer, but he's also a uh, he robs banks, and his team rob banks of uh, as a uh, dead president kind of thing. And uh, yeah, it's just it's pretty cool. I mean, they're skydiving, they're surfing. Uh, when they go rob the banks, it's pretty, pretty cool scenes, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, who else is in this? It's, uh, Gary Busey, which is pretty damn funny, but, uh, yeah, point break. It's not that great on Blu ray, I mean, it is, but it's an older movie, so, you know, you see the crackles and stuff like that, but, uh, some of the scenes they, like, updated and stuff when they're surfing, which looks really cool. But other than that, it's not amazing. I mean, it's not, it's not one I would say you have to pick up on Blu-ray. It's not one of those. But, uh, 
I thought I'd get it on Blu-ray because it's an action movie and try it out. So, yeah. Uh, the last movie, I haven't watched it on Blu-ray yet, so I don't know how it is. But same with Inception, but I know Inception's probably amazing. But, uh, it's, uh, Training Day. Uh, with Training Day, it's Denzel Washington and Ethan Hawke, and Ethan Hawke is, uh, recruited to work with Denzel Washington, and Denzel Washington's a crooked cop. And, uh, it just goes through the day of them working together. Shit like that. But, uh, yeah. Uh, the next two movies I got at, uh, wait, no, I didn't, but I got them on the same day. But I got the one at, uh, Best Buy, and then the one at Goodwill. But uh, I got Close Encounters of the Third Kind on Blu-ray at uh, at Best Buy. Uh, if you can pick this up, this is a great deal. It's $9.99 for this. It comes with a booklet, and it's the 30th anniversary edition. I mean, come on, it's Close Encounters of the Third Kind. That's another classic. Sci-fi classic. Alien sci-fi classic. But uh, if you don't know this movie... Basically, it's a Steven Spielberg movie. It's one of his first big movies, besides Jaws. Because I know Jaws was his first movie. Then it might have been E.T. and then this, or flip flopped this and E.T. Whatever. But uh, basically, it's Richard Dreyfuss and Terry Gar. And uh, Richard Dreyfuss has these recurring dreams of aliens, and he finds out. Uh, like the aliens uh, respond to music so they're playing the music and the aliens are talking back with their spaceship with the music and stuff it's not scary it's not a scary alien movie but it's suspenseful in parts and stuff like that uh, before you figure out that they're not really scary and whatnot but uh... yeah it's really cool uh... i'm glad i got it on blu-ray for sure i'm sure it's a great looking blu-ray I haven't checked it out yet but I mean Steven Spielberg can't go wrong but uh... Oh, it's rated PG by the way I guess there's the special edition version and then theatrical version oh and also the director's cut so there's three different versions on there so it's pretty cool so yep uh... the next movie I got it on the same day it's uh... I've been wanting to get this for a long time when I saw it on the Flix channel Flix movie channel, but it's, uh, I like Matthew Modine anyways, it's Matthew Modine, Zaphne, somebody or other, she looks familiar, and somebody else, is called Gross Anatomy, it's a Touchstone movie, which is cool, I like a lot of their movies, too, uh, Touchstone is Disney, the Disney, uh, company, they did Roger Rabbit, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, so on and so on like that but uh... basically it's matthew modine is like a slacker guy he works good in school and everything but he's a slacker not a slacker but you know like he's smart but he doesn't want to put in the effort to do everything and uh... they go to school for gross anatomy which is it's uh... learning the body and stuff like that they want to go to school to be doctors but they learn the body and the whole movie is basically them in class uh, learning the body like they have a dead body and they do the incisions and cut them open and you see everything and stuff like that and it's just the trials and tribulations of learning and going to school and stuff like that the teacher doesn't think he's good enough you know it's like coming of age almost but it's not because it's not really a high school student or nothing, but, yeah. Uh, the next two movies I just got, uh, like, maybe yesterday, last night. I think it was last night, yeah. At, uh, Dollar General, which is pretty crazy. It was Dollar General Market, so they had, like, more DVDs and stuff like that. But the first movie, I've been wanting this forever. Finally got it, found it for a good deal. And you're gonna laugh when you see it, but man, I love this movie. It's uh, Bow Wow and Nick Carter and a couple of other people. It's called Roll Bounce. It's a roller skate movie in the 70s. 
not from the 70s, but it's set in the 70s and stuff. Uh, I always like this movie. It's this in, uh, uh, Drumroll with Nick Carter too that I also like. They kind of, I kind of lump them together. You know, it's kind of like the same type of movie. But, uh, yeah. Robout. And the last movie I got, uh, not really a movie, DVD, I could say, really, but, uh, I've been wanting to collect more, uh, stand-up comedy, and I saw Jim Gaffigan live in concert, uh, a while back, maybe, two, three, four years ago. I, lo I like him a lot, uh, it's his, uh, DVD, Beyond the Pale. What's cool with this one, uh, not just that I've seen this so many times, so I needed to pick it up. But, uh, they have some bonus special features. They have his first stand-up ever. It says from 91. And, uh, how to break into stand-up comedy. A short cartoon, which I think is the cartoon, uh, Pale Force, I think it's called. It was him and, uh, uh, Conan. And he unveiled a few episodes of this on Conan each time he came in and stuff. Which I thought was funny. But, uh, I always liked him. Uh, I want to get a couple other, uh, stand-up comedy DVDs eventually down the road. But, uh, yeah, Jim Gaffigan. Well, that's it for now. I mean, I still have more money from, uh, my taxes. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a new, uh, DVD case, uh, to show off my DVDs. If I do, I'll show it off and show it to you guys and everything. And, uh, show you how I'm gonna set up my DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff like that. If not, then I'll just get, uh, a bunch more Blu-rays and DVDs and stuff and show more of those off, I guess. I'm just not deciding. I mean, I found a, uh, DVD rack that spins around. It's really cool. But, uh, it's a lot more than I want to spend. It's like $300. But it holds, uh, over 500 But right now I have a little more than 300 in my collection, so, that basically, that'd be 200 more, I mean, it's pretty nuts, if you think about it, so, I mean, uh, plus it's, it's long like this, and it's not wide, so I'm gonna save a lot more room, and everything, too, but, if I find it on a good price, I'll definitely pick it up, or something similar to it, I mean, uh, that's like the coolest thing ever, really, but, uh, that's basically it, I mean, uh, Subscribe if you want to. Um, thumbs it up and everything, you know. And uh, see some of my other videos if you want. And uh, stay tuned for some more. See you later.